Chers amis, bonsoir. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say a few brief words in honour of our guest, Premier Lee. I'd first like to thank the Premier for being with us for a few days on an official visit. Sophie and I are extremely pleased to be able to receive both you and your wife uh, after we were uh, so warmly welcomed to China just a few weeks ago. The Premier and I have a few things in common. Yes, our love of hockey is one thing. But more importantly, we share a vision for a stronger Canada and a stronger China. And we realize that those objectives are deeply interconnected. Last month has been an especially important month in renewing the relationship between our two countries. Sophie and I were fortunate enough to spend over a week in China, along with our daughter Ella Grace and our entire Canadian delegation. The hospitality extended to us by the Premier and the Chinese delegation was tremendously gracious and truly appreciated. So it's our great honour to return the favour to you, Premier Lee, during your time here with us in Canada. I was thinking about it, and I grew up in this city as a child, and one of the things I remember well was my father bringing us to the NAC, the National Arts Centre, as little children to see the circus. And I didn't quite understand how they were going to fit elephants and trapeze artists and uh, clowns in bumper cars on the stage of uh, the National Arts Centre, which is obviously smaller than this one. Um, but then he explained that we were going to see the Chinese circus. And I discovered uh, the wonders uh, of acrobats and beautiful moving performances. And it's with that thought that uh, I'm very, very pleased to be able to uh, tell you all that we will be graced here tonight by a Canadian twist uh, on the Chinese circus, which is, in the way things come full circle, now also partly a Chinese circus, uh, the great Canadian Cirque du Soleil, uh, that will be performing for us, uh, will be sharing a performance with us here tonight. And uh, when I was in China, we were talking with uh, the uh, um, investors in the Cirque, and uh, everyone is very excited about that example of China-Canada collaboration, of which we will see an example tonight. But during our meetings in Beijing and today in Ottawa, the Premier and I had many great conversations about our goals to strengthen the Canada-China partnership. And we've made some real progress on a number of important issues during some very frank and honest conversations. Pendant nos réunions à Beijing et ici aujourd'hui à Ottawa, Le Premier ministre Lee et moi avons parlé de notre objectif d'approfondir les relations entre nos pays et nous avons fait du progrès réel sur un bon nombre d'enjeux pendant nos conversations franches et honnêtes. We know that there is tremendous untapped potential between our new countries and we're committed to deepening our ties for the benefit of our citizens. But it's not something one does alone. It you build on uh, work done by generations past, and I'm so pleased to be able to highlight uh, uh, former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien, who uh, always was a very good friend to China and understood the uh, potential and the hard work that could be done to bring our businesses and our people closer together. Merci d'être ici, Monsieur le Premier ministre. And we're also joined by a number of people who understand deeply uh, the need to engage uh, more and better with China, and that is our provincial premiers. A number of them are here tonight as well, and it's wonderful to see you all uh, understanding and committing uh, to deepening this friendship as well, because we need to work at all levels together. Indeed, we're entering a new era in the Canada-China friendship, one grounded in collaboration and mutual, suspect, uh, mutual respect. And while we won't agree on everything, I guess that's where I was going, and while we won't agree on everything, we can always find common ground in what we want for our people. Economic growth, job creation, and always a more prosperous middle class. 
So with that, I'd very much like to propose a toast to cooperation, to prosperity, and to friendship. Merci beaucoup tout le monde et bonne soirée.